which fantasy realm would make the best vacation spot? Would you rather appraise furniture in Narnia or buy a new pair of pumps in Oz? Is it better to tour a vineyard in Dorne or go spice shopping in Dune? We'll find out this week on The Great Fantasy Debate. <laughs> I'm your host, Drea. Now, let's meet our debaters. To my left, we have Wookiee of the Year. <laughs> Captain by Pierce Brown, author of the Red Rising series. Helping Pierce illustrate his points today, we have comedian Jay Jordan. Our opposing team are the Nomadals. <laughs> Captain by Jim Butcher, author of the mega popular Dresden Files series. Assisting Jim is comedian Sean Donnelly. Wookiee of the Year. You guys won the coin toss, so you're up first. I want to hear the argument for the best fantasy vacation spot. It's time to slay your piece. The best place to go on a fantasy vacation has to be Middle Earth. The setting of J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings series, Middle Earth boasts regions such as the Shire, the Misty Mountains, and Mordor, home to bad boy wizard Sauron, whose flaming eye sees all. Its diverse population includes hobbits, elves, humans, dwarves, dragons, and orcs. There's a magical ring, villages with tiny doors, and a twisted little weirdo named Gollum. Welcome to Middle Earth. It's got something for everyone. Kids can play in the grassy shire, and adults can go out for a drink in an inn, like the Prancing Pony. The wizard Gandalf himself put a spell on the beer there to make it great. That's what I want to drink on vacation. Local, authentic, magic, beer. And we're talking about Frodo and Samwise Gamgee. They are two great guys, always going on fun excursions. You get to hang out with them, see giant spiders, you can climb endless staircases, and then you have amazing calves. Amazing calves go with amazing caves, because Gollum is a great tour guide. He knows all the hot spots, including the hot springs of Mordor. He's known to eat raw fish, so raw it's still swimming. So you know he knows where all the best sushi spots are. Domo arigato, Smeagol. The bars are full of hobbits. You're gonna be the hottest person there. <laughs> or at least the tallest. Plus, I've heard that in Middle Earth, swingers are welcome because everyone there loves taking off their rings, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. <laughs> That's time! You know, I do love sushi. No but alls, you have 30 seconds to rebut. <clears throat> all right, first of all, Mordor is the hottest destination. And just like all the most popular clubs, it's impossible to get in. You know, one does not simply walk into Mordor. Frodo and his friends are not who you want to spend your vacation with. They're always doing something, going somewhere. When I'm on vacation, I just want to relax, not spend all day on a tour of Mount Doom. Gollum is not a great tour guide. He will definitely steal your jewelry. He'll say, to the left is the Misty Mountains. And when you look back <laughs> at your ring finger, not only do you not have a ring, you don't have a finger either. No, but alls, it's your turn. You have one minute to make your team's argument. What is your best fantasy vacation spot? The best fantasy vacation spot is Discworld. Discworld, the setting of Terry Pratchett's series of the same name, is a flat planet balanced on four elephants, which are standing on the back of a sea turtle as it slowly swims through space. It is a magical place where anything is possible if you believe it. It is also home to the living embodiment of death. This is Discworld. Now, if you're a beach person, it's got a very long coastline. And it's, it's all coastline. No matter what direction you're walking, you are walking to the beach. <laughs> also, people brag about riding one elephant on vacation. In Discworld, you're riding four elephants all the time. Taking a snooze in a hammock, you're riding four elephants. Watching Law & Order, you're riding four elephants. If your spouse says you don't want to do anything, tell her, I'm riding four elephants. Not only that, on Discworld, reality is not controlled by physics, but by belief. If a being on Discworld believes something to be so, guess what? It is so! If you simply believe that your hotel room has a hot tub, all you need to do is throw on your great attuned swim trunks, grab a brew dog, and soak in that tub, which exists now. You want to spend time with your family but not see them? Take an excursion to the land of fog. You still get credit for spending time with your weird cousins without actually having to look at their faces. Discworld is an amazing place for networking. The physical embodiment of Death is walking around, so if you befriend him, you'll live forever! Best vacation ever! I do like the idea of not having to see my family on a family vacation. Alright, Wookiee of the Year, you have 30 seconds to rebut. 
I would do it now. Oh. Hey, beaches are great, but have you ever heard of rim fall? Piers. <laughs> <laughs> All the oceans in this world empty into space. No, it's not an adult video. Okay. Your day at the beach could end with you screaming into the endless void. No tan is worth that. Take it from someone who has a tan. You talk a lot about elephants, but elephants on Discworld are held up by a giant turtle that often rolls on its back. You'll be seasick the whole time. It's like being on the worst carnival cruise ever. But if everyone can alter reality through sheer willpower, that means some random brosif at your resort can believe something that ruins your vacation. You're hanging out with a buddy. And then bam! The guy next door believes that Limp Biscuit is performing a private concert oh, in his room. No. He's got his backward Nickelback hat on and Limp Biscuit shorts on, and he's screaming, I did it all for the nookie, <laughs> blasting through your walls. The power of belief just harshed your mellow That's and mine. Platinum. Plus, the personification of death right next to me. Who wants to sit my ties at the pool and have the Grim Reaper next to you at the pool lounge? Not to mention, he could be listening to Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> To recap, know-it-alls argued that Discworld is a non-stop elephant ride, which sounds like a whole lot of fun. Well, Wookie of the Year says, just say no to space speeches. You've both made your cases, and you've had a chance to respond. Now we're gonna turn up the heat with the Dragonfire Challenge. <laughs> Each team will have to improvise a song celebrating their fantasy destination. Okay, Wookie of the Year. You're up, let's hear that song about Middle Earth. One ring to rule them all, fun for everybody tall and small. Orcs, second breakfast with plenty of pork. Middle Earth, Middle Earth, Middle Earth. Lots of length and plenty of girth. <laughs> That's... I'm just like finally happy to know what I want to dance to at my wedding. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it all. Now is your chance. Let's hear that song about Discworld. Discworld, Discworld, riding four elephants on top of a turtle. So loosen your girdle and come to Discworld. You'll hang out with death. He'll take your last breath. This world, this world, it's fun! <laughs> wow, a real earworm. <laughs> it's time to make up my mind, which means it's time for the proclamation. The fantasy world that makes the best vacation destination is Discworld. Yes! Because the eye of Sauron would always be on me and I need my privacy. Do you agree with me? Or is there another place that you'd rather go? Just let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time here on The Great Fantasy Debate. Hey folks, do you ever wish the Magnum P.I. had magical powers? Well then you gotta read the Dresden Files series by Jim Butcher. It's about a hard-boiled private eye, Harry Dresden, who's also a wizard. This book has vampire courts and fairy courts, which are both so much cooler than the traffic courts I'm always in. I'd rather have my blood sucked than do more community service. The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Collect them all!